Hello, my name is Ron Brown. I'm affiliated with HCSI Software. I've been a user for 20 years, and uh, my specialty, uh, if you want to call it that, uh, in using the software is uh, VPA, Volume Price Analysis, or another term for it is VSA. What I'm going to do in a series of videos is uh, show you how to get started uh, using uh, the uh, files that I use uh, for stock uh, prospecting and analysis and uh, to get you up and running just to help you through this process. It can be a little bit intimidating, but uh, if you follow a few simple steps, it's uh, really not that bad. Now, I'm at the HGSR, the High Growth Stock web page, and you can get a free 30-day trial without entering your credit card. You just click on this, you fill out this information, and you submit it. If you follow any of these people, uh, they uh, there are files within the program that you can download and uh, uh, take advantage of their strategies. But I'm included right here under Woodward and Brown. Ian Woodward was my partner for many years, unfortunately. He passed away about three years ago, but uh, uh, we still... Uh, use his name in the program because he was a major contributor to it. So fill this out, hit the submit button, and then you'll get an email back. And you, then you can install uh, the program. I've already downloaded the installation program, so I'm going to go ahead and install this. If you get this message, Windows protected your PC, click on more info, run anyway. It comes up because this is an EXE file. And uh, exe files, if they're not from a reputable publisher, can cause significant damage to your computer. But uh, this file is clean. I know that. I'll just uh, put uh, this is the name of the uh, club that I uh, have. And I'm just going to follow the default instructions. Now I have an SSD drive or a solid state drive uh, so it uh, will work a little faster. Now um, I'm run at high growth stock which is not going to help anybody because my password is hidden and uh, Looks like I forgot my password. Let's try it again. Or I have a typo. Got it right that time. Uh, anyway, it take, initially it takes uh, time to uh, uh, download the HGSI stock database. I, uh, I'm on fiber. I have uh, uh, 300 megabytes uh, per second, so it doesn't take me that long. But if you're if you're on a slow connection, it's going to take a while. So just uh, uh, remember that when you're doing this. Now you can see my file came down very quickly. It's going to decompress, and then it's going to uh, go ahead and build uh, the original file. So I'm just going to go ahead and pause the, uh, the screen while it's doing this, or the recording, and uh, I'll be back shortly. It depends on the uh, speed of your computer, uh, but uh, that took about eight minutes uh, to update the uh, database and uh, all the uh, current information. So just be patient when you're installing. And then this is going to pop up. It says, if you're a new user, follow the HGSI Help Getting Started web page that's now showing in your browser. You can always get back to this Getting Started web page by clicking the Help button on the main toolbar and select getting started which would be right over here. Uh, you can just deselect this. You don't need to see this again. And uh, what happens is a chart's going to pop up. But this is a web page uh, that the information was referring to. Now I'm not going to read this. You can read this on your own. I'm going to show you uh, what uh, uh, I think uh, needs to be done to get set up or I should say to get set up properly. Now I'll close this. Uh, this chart I'm not going to go over. Maybe later. But here's your main 
toolbar. Now, here are some things that I, I would do. Uh, under, uh, you can see that these icons are large. They take up screen space. Go to Preferences and select Use Small Toolbar. Now, when I bring this back up, notice that these icons are much smaller and they do not take up uh, screen space. Okay, let's just uh, go through here. I'm going to go back to Preferences. If you want this menu bar to be on top all the time, you can select Always on Top. And then when another module comes up, notice that the uh, toolbar is always on top. I don't use it like that, but you can do that. Now, uh, I'm going to deselect that. Under Global Index Options, these are the settings that it comes with. What this does is uh, when HGSI is creating an index and there are many index indexes created, uh, these are the numbers or the, uh, the criteria that is used. Now I use uh, different numbers and I'm going to show you what I use right now. So if you want your information to look like mine, I use market uh, value weighted because I want to give more uh, importance to the uh, larger cap stocks when these indexes are built. And I also use 104 weeks because I want to look back two years when the group indexes are built. And uh, you'll see what I mean by the uh, group indexes. It, it's better for me for analysis rather than just 52 weeks. I want to look at 104 weeks. And then if I click on OK, this is going to pop up, rebuild all indexes with new settings. I'll go ahead and say yes. And you can see that it's going through the industry groups right now and rebuilding uh, those uh, indexes. Once again, this depends on the uh, speed of your computer. And I'll just let this build. There's, there are quite a few uh, indexes and uh, if you uh, add uh, all of my groups, you're going to be, uh, or you're going to have a lot more indexes too. So I'll just let this uh, play out or run through the process. Now, when you download and update at night or in the morning, these indexes are going to be built every time and they're going to be built using these new parameters. If you want to leave it set on 52 weeks and uh, equal dollar weighted, which means that every stock in the database uh, would have an equal dollar applied to it or equal dollar weighting rather than uh, favoring the larger cap stocks. OK, so that's finished. Now they have a uh, portfolio in here as an example. But what I'm interested in is I'm interested in going to the industries. These are the industries that are contained in uh, HGSI. And you can see there are 176 uh, securities here. If I click through to the warehouse, these are all of the industry groups. And if you see where the down arrow is, it's sorted by industry group. Now, when you get the, the program, you're not going to have anything in here, or very little in here. And so you need you need a strategy or a methodology. My, like I said, beginning this at the beginning of this video, I use primarily VSA or VPA. It's a VPA and HGSI. Uh, which is volume price analysis, or VSA, which is volume spread analysis. They're one and the same, just uh, different, slightly different terminology. So here, is a, here are the warehouse views. You just have a few things in here. All the data fields. You can resize this. Uh, popular ETF families. Popular stock categories. Not much here. So if you're looking at this bare bones thing, you're going to say, what am I going to do with this? Well, I'm going to help get you started and uh, and uh, hopefully you'll uh, get involved with uh, with my methodology. 
I'm going to end this video right now. I'm going to try to keep these videos under 10 minutes or right at 10 minutes uh, just so, so they're not uh, too lengthy.